Hello and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to connect the ChatGPT API in Airtable with no code. So ChatGPT is an AI model which produces human-like text using deep learning technology. And today we're going to use the data fetcher extension to bring that ChatGPT information into Airtable. So in order to begin, we're going to create a blog posts table. So just here where it says table one, we're going to retitle that as blog posts like so, and then select save. Then in the first field, this name field, we are going to enter the names of the blog posts that we would like ChatGPT to create AI descriptions for. So as you can see, I have entered my titles into this first column. So now we're going to create a field called prompt. So over to the right hand side, we'll take this notes field and change that by double clicking it and changing the name to prompt like so. And for the type, we're going to select formula from this drop down menu. You can either search for it or you can type it here as you can see, select formula. And now in the formula box, we're going to add the following formula. You can actually find this on our data fetcher blog where we have an exact copy of this tutorial if you prefer to learn that way. And we also have that formula information here that you can simply press on the copy button and bring it back over to your air table box to paste it in there, nice and simple. So just so you are aware, as you can see, we actually do have that prompt information in the formula. So here I have written create an engaging social media post about a blog post with the title and then the title information will be inputted there. Do not include the blog post title. So you can include your own information here for how you would like your prompt to happen. But like I say, for now, you can copy this in from our own blog post. Once you've done that, you can select save. And then we're going to go to the next field and change this to be titled as social post. And from this, we'd like to select the type to be the long text, as you can see there. This is where we'll map our AI output to. Then select save. And then we're going to create another field. So here we're going to double click on this. And this field is going to be titled social post formatted like so. And then for the type, we're going to select formula again from this drop down menu. And again, for this formula, you can head back over to our blog where we'll scroll down and you can find that there. So we'll press the copy button and paste that back into your Airtable formula box. Great, select save. So now that our blog table is complete, we're going to create a new grid view. So over to the left hand side, you'll see this grid option where you can select the plus button and we're going to retitle this as needs info like so. Select create new view and this will appear as the new view and you can check that you're on the right view by checking that the title needs info is highlighted and here we're going to add some conditions. So up in the bar here, you will find this filter option. If you select that, we're going to add condition and here we want this to read where name is not empty. So you want to select that from that drop down menu. And then we want to add a second condition and social post from that drop down menu is empty. Great, you can click off that and now you'll see that is highlighted in green. So you know that that will happen. And now it's time to add our data fetcher extension. So over to the right hand side, you'll see this extensions option. We're going to select on that button and then click on the big blue button, add an extension. And from here, we're going to search for data fetcher just up here in that search bar that should immediately pop up and you can select add and then select add extension. Now we'll be prompted to either create a free data fetcher account, or you can simply continue with Google. The following screen will load and this is where we can import our data by creating our first request. So click on that big blue button again and you'll be brought to the following screen. Here we're prompted to choose our application. So we are searching for open AI and that pops up and then we'll need an API key under authorization. So you will need to create an account on open AI to connect ChatGPT to Airtable. So if you do have an account, you can simply click on this click here button to find your API key. Once we click on that, it will direct us to open AI where we can either log in or sign up. So I'm going to go ahead and log into my account and you'll be brought immediately to your open AI keys page. 
So I'm going to create a new secret code and copy that over nice and simple. Then I'm going to bring it back to my Airtable base where I'm going to paste that API key information into the input box. Once you've done that, we're going to select the endpoint create chat message completion. And we do also want to title this request. So up here in this top bar where it says request one, we're going to retitle this as fetch social media posts like so. Once you've done that, you can select save and continue in the bottom right hand corner. And this will bring you to the following page. So on the next screen for model, we want to choose that GPT-3.5 turbo. It is already selected, so you don't need to do anything here. So now for the messages box, this is really important to give the context to ChatGPT of what perspective it is writing from. So each message should be in the role content format like so, where the role is system user or assistant. So for today's example, we are going to put this as system. So we're explaining to ChatGPT that they are a social media manager. And that's the perspective that we want these posts to be written from. Then once you've typed that in, you want to select enter. Now we're going to go over to this right hand corner where we have the plus symbol so that we can add a reference to our output table. Here we have a blog post selected for the table and for the field we're going to select prompt. The following will appear where we have that information we've already inputted and we're going to make sure that the run for every record in view is set to the needs info grid view that we have created. Then we'll select confirm. And now you can see your input box under messages should now look like this. Now we can select save and run in the bottom right hand corner and select continue. As you can see, these fields are now being created for us. Now the following page will load and this is the response field mapping. So this is where you can decide which field you'd like to have included in your Airtable base. So here we want to search in the find field input box message, and that is already switched on automatically, but we want to make sure that message maps down to existing field, and we're going to select the field social post, then select save and run in the bottom right hand corner. And as you can see, this is now running that request. So now select show output table. So we arrived back to the following page and don't panic, you're just still in that needs info grid view. So if you select on your main grid view, you will now see all of that information coming from ChatGPT and being created into your Airtable base. So this is amazing, but currently you would need to manually run the request each time you want to create any new social media posts for any new blog titles. However, you can automatically run the ChatGPT Airtable integration using data fetchers paid scheduling feature. So in order to do this, open up that extensions button again, and that will immediately pop up to your data fetcher request that we have already created. Open that up. And as you can see, we have all of these settings that we have already created for this request. So you can scroll down until you find the schedule option. Now this schedule option through data fetcher will only look like this if you have already upgraded to a paid data fetcher account. And I really recommend that you do that so that you can have any of your requests running without you having to do a thing. So once you've upgraded to a paid data fetcher account, you can come back and you should now see this schedule option like so, where we can select the authorize button and click on I understand, let's authorize. This will pop up with the following screen where we grant access to data fetcher for Airtable. We're going to select our base that we'd like and we can choose all current and future bases and select grant access. Immediately, this turns that schedule option on where we can choose how often we would like for the request to run and on which days, and then we simply select save in the bottom right hand corner and close that window over. Now we know that anytime we add new blog titles and we have that scheduled request running, it will automatically update our Airtable base without having to do a thing. So hopefully today you have learned how to connect the ChatGPT API in Airtable with no code, 
But if you do have any questions, you can always reach out to us here at datafetcher.com where, like I've mentioned before, we do have this full length blog that you can check out if you would prefer to learn that way. Thank you so much for taking the time to learn today. I hope you have a good one.